Yes, good morning. Uh, it's 5 a.m. Good morning to you all. Happy Friday from Daryl here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I actually started my workout. I wasn't going to make a video first thing this morning, but I started thinking. I started thinking about the impeachment. Uh, there's 52 Republican senators and what, 46? 46 Democrat senators. And I started to think, uh, you know, how is, how can any, there, out of those 52 Republican senators, there, there has to be some that understand um, abuse of office. Uh, what their boss has done, I mean, it, it's not a Republican-Democrat issue. It's an issue of right or wrong. And I, I know out of these, you know, and being a Republican doesn't make you evil. So therefore, out of these 52 Republicans, some of them, if not a good portion of them, have to you know, deep down, even if they don't say it, they have to realize what their boss did was wrong, wrong. Um, you know, going to involving the Ukraine in, in our election process. I'm not going to go over it all again, but and then uh, obstructing justice and Congress. These things are, are un, undeniable. Uh, every day Trump gets on TV, calls it all a hoax. And then he... Uh, he uses Americans, um, we're, we're so busy, we, we really tend, even me, we tend to forget what happened yesterday, the day before, our memories are, are not all that good, and and we're, we're not all that, we don't pay a lot of, you know, we're so busy, I think these days with uh, our phones and all that, that we don't pay a lot of attention, and I think he, use, he uses this to his advantage so much. When he talks about transcripts, and then he, he kind of flips it and says, "Well, I wanted to like he wanted to testify, but they wouldn't let him." And you know, and he just he turns it all around. The, the facts are all exaggerations, lies. Um, and the fifty-two senators, some of them, you know. So I'm thinking, why? How easy? Why? Why don't three of them at least speak up? So I start to think, though, what would it be like? to have Donald Trump as your boss. Um, and then I started to realize what a, a, a bully uh, this person is. Um, ima imagine, look what, anybody who does not speak glowingly and complimentary of Donald Trump gets the, the business, man. He, they get the, the nickname, uh, the, they are the focal point. He tweeted 141 times yesterday. He broke an all-time record. So if you speak out against him, you are going to be plastered all over millions of people's tweets. You know, he, he, will, he will bully you. He will bully the bejesus out of anybody who dissents against him. Anybody who says the least unflattering word. If that is not the definition of of a pure bully. I don't know what is. I could hear Trump supporters now. Well, that's what we want. That's what we need. Somebody who gets things done. Uh, and yesterday, too, I was reading uh, tweets about from Trump supporters about, let's bomb Iran, let's bomb here, let's bomb there. And I, I think about these Trump supporters sitting at home, wherever, in their basement, in their easy chair. And it's it must be so easy, you know, to, to make these... Uh, these bullying, violent statements when you're sitting in the safety and home, uh, you know, in the comfort and safety of your home, it, it, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole different thing, you know? Anyway, back to those 52 senators, what it would be like to have him as a boss. Um, and then you think too about your future. If you, if, if you're a Republican senator, you, you're going to probably want to get reelected. Um, I imagine the majority of the people you're representing are good people, but there's that faction, the cult of Trump, that follow him. So I start thinking, if 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 you dissented, you know, say you did vote for his impeachment in your Republic Center, what would happen to you? And it's ugly, it's scary. What would happen to a to you know what what Trump and his followers would do to a Republic Republican senator that dissented against them? They think about it. Um, their future in Republic politics or Republican politics or politics in general will be over. Um, I can't imagine the hate mail, the threats 
we see what these uh, cult of Trump people do. They start burning things and threats and, uh, you know, end of the world stuff, you know. <laughs> um, I, I just, it would be the end of your career. It, it, you got to think, you know, your family. You, you can't have uh, fanatical people threatening you or your family. And that's what you would have. So, I, you know, I, I seriously, I, I never t I never thought about it from the Republican senator's point of view. They, they can't they they are cowered into a corner between Trump and the cult of Trump that that 30, 35 percent that or even less than that. They're just psychotically obsessed, fanatical with him and, and everything. Um, it would be scary. You know, so what are your choices? You know, you pretty much have to toe the line. I mean, if you it comes down to probably keeping your family safe, your future, um, your kids' futures. I imagine if you're a Republican senator, you probably move in Republican circles. You're going to be ostracized from those circles. I don't know if these people if these people belong to a golf club. Uh, golf resorts or whatever they're called. I, I certainly don't. Uh, you know, so your social circle would be gone. Your kids would probably have to change schools. I mean, think about it. Seriously. Uh, these Republican senators cannot speak up. Um, it would take a lot of, a lot of sack <laughs> for one of them, you know, when I really started thinking about it. Because the first thing that would happen if if anyone dissented or, or voted against Trump, a Republican, Republican senator, that Trump's uh, attention would hone, hone right in on that senator. And his tw little tweeting fingers would just go, go crazy. And uh, you'd, get, you'd get a nickname, first of all. That's what he does with all his enemies. So you, you'd be branded with some god-awful, short, fat, lazy, frumpy, uh, frumpy Fred... Um, Lying Larry, tra uh, traitor, Tim, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, though. You all guaranteed you would be given a name, a nickname. Uh, you know, and he would just, you know, he tweeted 141 times yesterday. Now, imagine if you were a Republican senator and you disagreed with him. That tweeting barrel would come right in, bullseye on you, you know, and you know that. And that would just be the beginning you know, your 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 future would be over. Your kids, your family would be in danger. <laughs> your wife would probably divorce you. You know, uh, this is the the level of bully I believe we have in the White House right now. If you think about it. So, but you know, so what are the chances uh, of any of these fifty two senators voting their conscience conscience? You know what? If one does, man, he's got my he's got my respect. If any of those Republican senators vote for impeachment, hats off, man. That's one brave individual. We got to get this bully out of the White House. This isn't the way America's supposed to run. All right, you guys have a good Friday.